So we are we're moving on to the next one. Am I the asshole for my response to my sister's boyfriend's brutal honesty? What is up with this episode? Why do I like I'm like seeing into the future right now? Okay, what is this one? Brutal honesty. Um I feel like it's another one of those situations. He is the a hole. <laughs> He's the a-hole. He was too brutally honest for no reason. Like, there's brutally honest, but then there's, I'm saying this because I know it's going to hurt yeah. you. Yeah, there's brutally honest, and then there's brutally honest. I'm being brutally honest right now. I'm sorry yeah. you can't handle it. Yeah, there's some people who just want to be mean, but they hide behind it being true. Like, I'm like, you don't have to say everything. Right. Yeah. My female 35 sister, female 27, started dating one of those brutally honest guys a few months ago. He can be quite rude and make some backhanded comments about me and my family sometimes, which is bothersome. But my sister says it's he's not malicious and he's just brutally honest and we should get used to it. I visited my parents' house to celebrate my sister's birthday and my husband couldn't come with me because he was busy. After the party, we all sat down for dinner and my sister's boyfriend said it was weird that my husband and I don't have kids despite being married for six years now. I was shocked that he brought this up, but I gave him a short answer stating that it's because of fertility issues, and he asked on which side. I didn't want to answer, but my sister said, oh, it's on my side. I got uncomfortable as he looked at me for a second and then said that maybe not having kids now is a good thing because he thought women over 30 might produce defective babies due to age. I told him it's none of his business, but he said that he was just giving his honest opinion, and that's all. I, in return, told him while maintaining eye contact, trust me, if I wanted an asshole's opinion, I would have farted. Literally, everybody at the table bursted out into laughter, and my sister and her boyfriend were stunned. A few seconds later, her boyfriend excused himself outside, and my sister followed, then sent a text after they left saying that I was mean and disrespectful towards her boyfriend and insulted him maliciously just because he stated his honest opinion She also said that I ruined her birthday by being petty and making her boyfriend the joke of the night in front of the family. I didn't respond, but she demanded an apology via mail as soon as possible. Mom agreed that I shouldn't have said what I said and should have just ignored him, knowing how he is. Am I the asshole? I'm two for two. I just wanted to put that out there. (laughs) So yes, but I'm two for two. Yes, she's the asshole? No, oh wait, the boyfriend is. Okay. What I was saying, my original theory, I'm two for two. That's crazy. Am I right, guys? (laughs) No, I hated that. It was bad. Am I right? No, I hated that. It was supposed to be, my birthday was yesterday and that made me uncomfortable. So. Whew, that was a uh, I mean that was a great response no that's if probably if I wanted an opinion from I'm an taking asshole that one. what no, did she that, say yeah if I wanted an opinion from that if, no, if I, I wanted, wanted an, an opinion asshole's from, opinion yeah, I would have farted. farted yeah wow. that's bars right that's there. straight up bars <laughs> that's bars that was good she tough she cut from a different cloth do you think she had that in her pocket? Yes. Or I've, did you think that was original that she's came that up? I feel like I've heard that before, okay, but I've the fact that it. she had it in her pocket to say that, because I've heard that before. Wow. But, you know, I you like forget it. it. Yeah. But No, because if she had that in her pocket, she is literally, she has the hardest rap career <laughs> ever. Like, Is this just, Meg? Did Meg write this? <laughs> Meg <was that. laughs> hey, man. Oh, no. It's Meg. I didn't know Meg was having family drama. That's crazy. And it was a group of people there too, so he's like trying to shame her in front of people. I'm like, she clapped back, like that's on you, buddy. He probably was like, yeah, I get away with saying things because it's honest. You know, like, I think, I'm like, who cares, bro, what you think? You have nothing to do with this. Why did you have to say that? I think the thing that got me is the sister's like, it was his opinion. It's like, yeah. then why did it matter? <laughs> you ain't a doctor, man. <laughs> but I think to, like, she did to him what Thanos did to Hulk. She put that man in his place and he didn't come back out. I was like, yo, let's go. That's, yeah, 
Yeah, I like that. that she she real cool for that one. See, Brandon um, really admires Thanos. He talks about Thanos he did nothing a lot. Wrong. He thinks that yeah, he's a actually problem. a good guy in it. I always think it's a problematic statement. Half y'all need to go. That's why you're chaotic <laughs> evil. He's into genocide for whatever reason, and that's just Brandon's thing. No, I don't. Genocide is like a group of people, right? Like a certain group of people. Yeah, he took out half. He the took out race. half the world. That's almost worse that's than genocide. That's yeah. We on that level. That that's what we need to do. So you're like, oh, it's not. It's not bad when it, you're not targeting based on a specific thing. Yeah. But, but just disappearing a weird. bunch of people. Half y'all need to go. That's cool. What if it was you, Brandon? Anything. What if you were snapped away? What if it was me? Y'all gotta go. I gotta go. We all gotta go. Man. You know, he he changed. He was he really quick. Me. Yeah. You actually, I'm on your side now. <laughs> no. Some people, some people gotta go. <laughs> no, you're right. There's too many people. Some of us gotta go. We should have never gave you a birthday podcast. Hey, man. Hey, it's my birthday. Hey, some of y'all gotta go. And I, I mean that. No, man, you're right. Man, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's my cousin. Some of y'all gotta go, but you guys also gotta let us know in the comments that they're definitely wrong. Don't be Team Thanos. This is crazy. Some of you have to go. You know, I'd love all of you guys to stay. I don't know why they're snapping you out of existence. And I guess they're snapping the rest of the episode. <laughs> this episode's about to disappear, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Happy birthday, Sam. <laughs>